Marhaba, my name is Megan and welcome to Wanderlust Voyages. We are here to tell you all about Morocco, from the cities to the culture to the cuisine. If you'd like to learn more about Morocco, please be sure to like this video and subscribe, hitting the notification bell so that you're notified of all of our future videos. Today I'm going to get right to the point. As of last night, the Moroccan government has changed their entrance requirements. So. Today is May 18th, 2022, so these are the current requirements. Unvaccinated travelers are now allowed to enter Morocco. They must have a negative PCR test, not antigen, a PCR test that was administered within 72 hours or really three calendar days prior to travel to Morocco. Now, prior to travel, means the start of your trip as long as you are traveling on one ticket. So if you are taking a direct flight from New York to Casablanca, three days before you leave New York. If you are routing through another country, say going from Boston to Paris to Casablanca, all on one ticket, then three days before you leave Boston. If, however, you're going from Boston to Paris, staying a night or two, or just collecting your luggage and getting, say, a Ryanair flight down to Marrakesh, then it's going to be three days before you leave Paris. So your documents are checked at the airport when you are checking in for your flight. That's when they verify the timing of your, uh, your testing. So. Be aware of that, pay attention to what time frame you are looking at. At this time, the language does not say anything about accepting a note of recovery within the last 90 days. As a substitute, you are just going to need the negative PCR. For vaccinated travelers, you no longer have to have any testing requirements as long as you are fully vaccinated. Now, what counts as fully vaccinated? They are now requiring at least three doses, or if one of your doses was Johnson & Johnson, then two doses. One of those counts as two doses of Moderna, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, whatever. So, this of course also has an exception. <laughs> if your second dose of Pfizer, Moderna, whatever, was administered within four months prior to travel, then two doses will be fine. However, if your second dose was more than four months ago, then you're going to need a booster. As an example, as I said, today is May 18th. So if my second dose of Pfizer was back in January, well, that's outside of the four month window, I'm going to need a booster. However, if my second dose was in March, that is within that four month window, then I'm fine, I do not need a booster. Children who are under the age of 12 do not have either vaccination or testing requirements. All travelers, however, do have to fill out a health form that is going to be collected at the airport in Morocco. You can find the link to that in the description box below. So how about when you get to Morocco? Well, life is pretty much back to normal. <laughs> they, the mask mandate has been lifted and the bars and nightclubs and live entertainment are now reopened. Um, of course, social distancing is still encouraged, but <laughs> you will find lots of crowds. Um, and of course, they still have a lot of things like hand sanitizer available everywhere and a lot of touchless options, like a lot of um, restaurants have QR codes for menus and things like that. I think those things are probably going to be here to stay. But going about visiting things, everything is open. And there's no restrictions regarding any sort of quarantine or curfews or things like that. So let's talk numbers real quick. As of today, there are fewer than a thousand active cases in Morocco. 
Now, there's actually like 758 <laughs> as of today, but of course that can go up or down. There's a lot of people in Morocco right now. So that might be changing as people are testing to leave. Uh, most of the cases are still in the Casablanca area because it is the most densely populated. So again, if you are at all compromised and concerned about that, maybe don't spend time in Casablanca. Speaking of testing as you're leaving the country. Now, this is where, again, I don't know all of the requirements for all of the other countries, so I can only speak to the US, which is what I am familiar with. And the US still requires a negative test, either PCR or antigen, within one calendar day prior to travel. Now, throughout Morocco, antigen tests are pretty rare to find, but PCRs are very easy, and they're also very quick. Um, if you get a PCR test in the morning, you will have it back in anywhere from as little as four hours, as long as 16 hours. However, it's usually more like around four to six hours. Of course, be sure to check with your lab. <laughs> Always, you know, go by what they say their usual turnaround time is. Good news is that there are lots of labs where you can get testing done and it is, you no longer have to make an appointment ahead of time. It is walk-in available. The pricing of the testing is anywhere from 400 to 700 year home, depending on the type of test and where it is being conducted. Some hotels are offering testing, but very few. Um, most of the locations, most of the time, you're just going to have to find a location in whatever your final city is. So what happens if you do test positive when you are trying to leave the country? Well, you are going to have to quarantine until you are able to test negative. Now, interestingly, they do not have a set time frame before you can test again. However, they do follow up because when you are testing, they check your passport and they report any positive tests. You are also not supposed to move hotels if you are, if you test positive. You are supposed to stay where you are, quarantine where you are. This is, of course, at your own cost. So be aware that that's what would happen if you were to test positive. So that's that could still be a risk depending on if you have to test to leave the country for whatever your next destination is. All right, I think that is all of the update. So quick recap, unvaccinated travelers are now able to enter the country if they have a negative PCR test that was administered within 72 hours prior to the start of travel. Vaccinated travelers are able to enter the country without any testing as long as they have had three doses or if their second dose was within four months of travel. Travelers under the age of 12 do not have any entry requirements. I hope that helps with your planning for the summer and beyond, and I hope to see you in Morocco soon. Bye.